Well, Mini has clearly started something because this is a Fiat 500L. Now, the Italian brand wants to create a family of small cars off its little retro machine, just as BMW did with the German car maker. So, let's see how this one goes. Now, like the Mini Countryman, the 500L is a five-door, five-seater Mini people mover and it actually doesn't share anything with the regular 500 apart from trading on its name. It tries to borrow some of the Bambino's heritage and charm in its front design, but the taller boxy body hardly makes it look cute. Instead, it makes it much more functional as its relatively compact dimensions, measuring just 4.2 metres long, hides a rather spacious interior with a flexible rear bench that is perched higher than the front seats for better vision and can slide forwards for more cargo space or backwards for extra legroom. There is also plenty of cubby holes for small item storage, 22 of them in fact, and the dash is much more conventional and easier to read than the 500's retro inspired design. Powered by a 119 kilowatt 1.4 litre turbocharged engine with Fiat's multi-air system, it motors along quite well with decent low rev pulling power and is reasonably quiet at freeway speeds. Fiat Australia is expected to add the 500L to its local lineup sometime in 2015, when a conventional six-speed automatic rather than the outdated robotized manual transmission becomes available. When it does arrive, it will lob into the fast-growing baby SUV segment. But if Fiat continues with its aggressive pricing strategy, now that it is under the umbrella of its parent company in Australia, following our brief test in snowy Detroit, the 500L could be a winner.